guys. We're in Iwate Prefecture. Yep. And first place we went to is Chusonji Temple. Mm. That's one of the most important Buddhism temples in Japan. So if you come to Iwate, you have to go there. We're at Chusonji Temple in Hiraizumi, Iwate Prefecture. It's about an hour south of Morioka if you mm. take a car through the expressway. Morioka is the capital of Iwate, by the way. The capital. So if you're going to be in Iwate, you'll probably pass through Morioka at some point. Yeah. And this is definitely a place you should get to and check out if you can. The temple was built in the year 850, and later on, Fujiwara clan lost its power. This temple kind of lost its influence, but still, it's an amazing temple. So you have to definitely come check this out. It's absolutely beautiful here. Yeah. Really tall trees that you can walk along up yeah. to the path. You do have to go up a little bit of a mountain, so it's a bit of a hike, but you know, it's worth it. You guys get your exercise in. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a gorgeous area here. Yeah, it's very really quiet right. and very peaceful. It's very nice. Yeah. Our next stop was Wonko Soba, which is a famous challenge that people do here in Iwate. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it this time because I've done it in the past. But what it is, is you'll get a bowl of soba noodles. It's usually about one, one and a half bites per bowl. And you have to eat as many of them as you can. And yeah. usually you go with a group, so you're kind of competing with everyone else to see who can eat the most bowls. It's an interesting experience. It's something you should definitely try if you've never done it before. You'll, you will regret it at the end, but it's fun. And next morning. To have done it. Oh, and all, all the next day. Right, our friend Chris got 110 bowls. He ate 110 bowls, which is a, quite a bit. So he did really well. But he's suffering, I guess. He's, he's suffering a lot <laughs> as of the next day. I did 68 in the past, which is more than average. Today we're at Honko Soba in Iwate Prefecture. Azumaya. Azumaya. Yeah, that's the name of the restaurant. Actually, I've been to the, this restaurant before for Honko Soba. If you don't know what it is, it's Iwate's famous, not a dish, it's kind of like a competition meal where you get, as you can see behind us, little bowls of soba that are mostly just like one bite each and then you try to eat as many of them as you can. It's kind of like tabe hora, all you can eat. And see all how you can many, eat soba, huh? Yeah, see how many you can get stacked up. I did 68 last time I was here and I regret it and I'm not doing it again. So these two people who haven't done it before, they're going to get their chance now. I'll just we'll see how eat they eat. until I become ha happily full. Yeah. The record here, I think, is like 550 or something. If you're in Iwate, you'll probably be passing through Morioka, which is the capital here, and they have a lot of different restaurants for Wonko Soba. So mm -hmm. all you have to do is just, you know, Google Maps search Wonko Soba, and you should be able to find one near you. We also went to Morioka Castle Site Park. It was really beautiful, and there are like hundreds of cherry trees. Um, right. I think you should go there in spring, if possible. It was really beautiful. So today we are at Morioka Castle Side Park. Uh, this place used to be a, a castle. Uh, the castle was built in 1598 and it was abandoned in 1871. Uh, it was a mage era and a few years later it was torn down completely. Uh, and as you can see, the memorial is blank in honor of the castle that's no longer here. Yeah. This is a really famous place for people to visit if you're in Morioka. And it, you should definitely come back here in spring because there's so many cherry trees. Right, right, all over. I'm yeah. sure it would be beautiful this spring. Yeah, it's Not as much now. now. <laughs> and right now we are standing in front of Ryusendo Caves. This is one of the most famous places in Iwate Prefecture and they're the most famous caves in Japan. Probably, right? Yeah, yeah, there are three right. and this is one of them. Right, you means dragon and we have dragon statues on either side of us right now. Sen means a small pond or lake, and inside the cave they have some of the world's purest underground water, yeah. which hopefully we'll get to see today. They also let you see bats, so we're gonna do a bat tour! <laughs> Woo! But, well, let's get going.
So that was the new Sendo Caves. Yep. It's a lot better in person, so I highly recommend you come here if you have yeah, the opportunity. Definitely. Yeah, there's some things that cameras just can't capture, especially when it's so dark. Yeah. The water in there was so clear and yeah. gorgeous, and so you could see really through. see. Yeah, yeah, you could see a long way. They also have a part of the cave that's lit up by rainbow lights that rotate colors. Oh, yeah. That's that was, pretty, really cool. That was really awesome. And we're right here at the entrance, so this is where you go in and come out. It's not the longest cave in the world, so it doesn't take too much time to walk through. Yeah. Although, coming back, there are a lot of stairs. You don't have to take the stairs if you don't want. There's not too much extra to see that yeah. way. But you know, if you want the exercise, then you know, get your squats and thighs work out there. So if you also like bats, this is yeah. the place you should go. Oh, the That's bats are cool. so cute. Yeah. They're so adorable. <laughs> so this is the end of you the trip. If you want to see more detailed videos on some of the places that we've been to, check out our channel, Rachel and June. Yep. And we'll see you in the next prefecture. Bye. Stay tuned.